Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Odin Sphere. Let's uh let's finish Odin Sphere while we're at it. So, first of all, I should mention that I've gone through some of the old books. Uh you might have seen the message at the end of the last episode that comes up that says in the book arm again, you use everybody as they are at the end of their own book. So I've gone back in and done some minor grinding on everybody. Um, except Velvet. I didn't touch Velvet at all, because Velvet's fine as far as where she's at. Um what I did, I started with Cornelius, uh, I got him a whole bag full of elixirs, and I think that was, and I think I, ju I just jumped bumped his uh, HP level up a little bit. Uh, then I went to Gwendolyn, she had only four bags, and the only item she had was a cocoa, so, or a cacao, so that needed some work. I had to go through basically her whole story you see here, till she got the Puka Village, and I bumped up her HP a bunch, and I got her... I think a half a bag of elixirs and two unlimited powers. She doesn't have any painkillers. We'll see how that works out. Um, then I did Mercedes, who I think I just had to do like two chapters just till she could pick up attorney for something, which I'll, I'll talk about when we get there. And then I went into Oswald and I just did the first chapter because the first chapter you get like six bags of carotiers. So you can, Oswald has a bag full of elixirs, a bag full of unlimited powers and a bag full of painkillers. And then I changed his equipment to a vampire ring. Everybody else still has the experience grindy accessory, except which Gwendolyn did not have at the beginning. I gave her one so her Cypher level could catch up to everybody else a little bit. Um, but yeah, uh, she also did learn a really sweet move at 35, which hopefully I can show off. But Armageddon, before we get in there, I want to talk a little bit about how I'm going to do this. So what I'm going to do is, if you're playing along at home and you've beat Armageddon already, or you follow along and you you beat it soon um you might have noticed on the save screen that there are seven stars and that we've been getting a star each time we move on to another book so right now we have six stars of the seven or five stars of the seven six of the eight i forget exactly how it's done maybe it's a star every time you complete a book or something um, anyway, the point is, Armageddon is not the last book. There's another book after Armageddon that's just cutscenes, but to unlock it, you have to... It's described as seeing every scene in the game, but that's not true. What you have to do is you have to see the good ending and the bad endings. You have to beat Armageddon by following Croy's thesis, and you have to beat Armageddon by not following Croy's thesis. Even if four of the five characters, or three of the five characters are alright, as long as two of them are wrong, you get the bat in it, which is what we have to aim for as well. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the whole good ending first, and then I'm going to go through the whole bad ending, and I'm just going to splice it so that what you see is the correct boss fight, and then what happens if you use somebody else. Correct boss fight, what happens, and I'll probably split those up into five different episodes, and then episode, which I think should work out nicely that episode 100 will then be the last book of just cutscenes and me talking about things. I do want to talk about Ragnarok for these obvious parallels to Odin Sphere's Armageddon book. I'm thinking I might save that till after for the 100th episode when I go through the cutscene only book. So for now, we're going to go through Armageddon. And Socrates is going to get in the way. Get out, cat. Uh, I guess I could... Oh, I can't open up the story here. Oh well, then we won't do it. Uh, so we're going to have some initial cutscenes to lead off Armageddon here, and I'll be quiet for those. And then I'll come back and talk a little bit about how the boss rush book here is going to work exactly. The world now bids farewell, five seals are unlocked, and the catastrophe has been unleashed. Both the living and the dead will witness the judgment of heaven and earth. Might as well read that for you. <sighs> the spell of Darkova is still affecting me. I knew it would happen, but my heart is tainted. I can't bear it. Like a wolf, my hunger eats away at my very core. Velvet, not even you are safe from my appetite for human flesh. This shall be my end. 
But I cannot rot like this. Over here, Leventon. Now sleep. have once again set this cauldron alight. It should know who its master is, even without the ring. Now, respond to my voice. The time has come to bring judgment upon the earth. I am one with destruction. Absorb the power of every foe and Annihilate this empty shell of a world! What a terrible sight. So this is what remains of King Valentine. Anyway, you're alive. You still hide. Coward! Are you any better? You fled from the netherworld. How rude. Hard to believe. You share my noble blood. Oh, we're very much alike. We both lust for power. Power? What power could you possibly hold? Let me show you the Darkova. Relive Titania once again. Impossible. I'll turn your precious cauldron into scrap. Will you fight to the death? Aye, unpleasant, isn't it? The cowardly prince who destroyed his country will give his life to save it. again. Someone is calling upon the power of Darkova once more. Stop! My blood is boiling, but the anticipation awakens a sick pleasure inside me. My heart is growing dark. Ah, here they come. That woman sends her servants to restrain me once again. King Galen, our queen who set your shackles has been sent into the darkness. No one shall interfere with the king's freedom once again. Then obey me, grave keepers. If you wish the power of darkness to survive, then obey the shadows around you. From this moment on, lead the dead. Make your way to Titania. But we cannot leave. The Queen blocked the path. What? Who are you? I am your humble servant. My appearance has changed, but my loyalty has not. I am Beldor. A wise man. Are you aware that the Holia are able to traverse the border between life and death? As the new power figure in the netherworld, all you need to do is command them. Alia, show me the way. Let us abominations leave. And enter the living world, so we can devour life.
What's happening? The land is collapsing. What? Highness, the ocean rises. If this continues, tis only a matter of time until our land sinks below the waves. The prophecies begin. King Onyx! Your Majesty, what can we do? There is no going back now. We shall march inland. But the prophecies tell of our demise when we get to the World Tree. There is no World Tree! That story is a mere fable. We shall burn the forest away and prove that those prophecies are false. Inform all in the Fire Realm. The time to seize the world has arrived. King Odin, at this rate... Galen wants the Netherworld. Do we have any troops? Our infantry has been completely annihilated. The Valkyrie, the main gate is destroyed. The enemy is inside the palace. Ah, I knew this day would come. I made the Baylor for this. If only I still had it. Here they come. We must protect the king. Disquiet. I no longer hear battle. I must be the only one left. Any warrior encountering so many Halya must become weak of heart. Why, tis Griselda. Have you lost your way in all this chaos? I have never done anything fatherly for you. Not once. If I could die for you, I would be satisfied. It seems that we can be together forever now. Are you happy, Griselda? You're so lovely, my child. foretold death triumphs from the balcony you can see the dark troops cover the mountain and beyond the spirits shall soon arrive here red nonival must be princess remain calm we must escape from here i understand you must be worried about oswald who went to gather information <sighs> princess gwendolyn this way he shall take you to safety. Maris, I'm sorry. Please fetch my spear. Princess Gwendolyn! I shall follow Oswald. No, you mustn't! Fear not. I am a Valkyrie. If it becomes too much for me, I shall fly away. Now, go on. Princess. If we are to meet, let us meet atop Horn Mountain. They're coming. Hurry! What? No. Griselda? Are you... here for me?
Right, so there we go. So now it wants us to choose a character to fight the six-eyed beast. And if we remember Croy's thesis on the Psalms and Velvet Ningwe's mother's prophecy, the order is Cornelius fights the six-eyed beast, uh, Oswald fights King Gallen, Mercedes fights King Onyx, Velvet fights the Cauldron, Gwendolyn fights Leventhon. And... I'm going to do the wrong order, and I think the wrong order doesn't matter at all. Like, there isn't really a whole lot you could see. You could see some, like, little bonus scene, um, which you will, you'll see those. I'll show those. Um, like, if you have Velvet fighting away, she recognizes him because she knows he turns into Darkovish. It was the boss of her epilogue. Um, if you bring Cornelius to fight King Gallon, Cornelius remembers King Gallon gave him the sword. King Gallon recognizes that Cornelius is his grandson. Um, I'm going to use Gwendolyn against King Onyx. I don't know if Gwendolyn has an extra scene. If anybody does, it's Oswald. But I think Gwendolyn might. Um, I'll try and see if Oswald also does and see if I can cram that in the video, but we'll see. We'll get there when we get there, right? Um, and then for the Cauldron, I mean, the only ones that make sense against the Cauldron that aren't Velvet are Mercedes and Gwendolyn, since they're the princesses of the countries fighting for it. Um, maybe Cornelius has something to say about the cauldron since he was hanging out with Velvet in the desert underneath it, but I don't think so. So I'm going to use Mercedes just because I'm going to use Gwendolyn against um, King Onyx. And the reason I'm not using Oswald against King Onyx is because I'm using Oswald against Leventhon. Because the only person... Like, I think everybody fights Leventhon at some point except Velvet. I think. Yeah, everybody fights Leventhon at some point except Velvet. Oh, does Oswald not fight him? I don't think Oswald fights him in his story. He fights him off camera right before Gwendolyn fights him. Um, but Oswald's called the Dragon Slayer multiple times, so it makes sense that he would be the one to fight the dragon. If Croy hadn't told us, no, it's the complete opposite. So we're going to start off and we're going to do the Ingwe fight with Cornelius. And you'll get to see just how much shit I racked up on some of these characters. Which, going through the story again does not take that long. If you skip the cutscenes... This is Darkova. Could trying to fight this even be considered a battle? Oh. Ingwe, is that you? Did you use the secret magic? Answer me! Yes, it is true. Who's there? Let me introduce myself. I am Urzer's acquaintance. You're one of them. Is what you said true? Is this really Ingwe? Indeed. He used the secret technique in order to stop the cauldron. But little did he know that there is also a spell to control the Darkova. Control it? That's impossible. If there was... My father would not have been forced to kill my grandfather. After the incident with King Gallen, your father had us research the spell. Our work was successful. My father? What are you planning to do? Foolish questions deserve no answers. If you plan to stop me, you will become a victim of my loyal servant. For you. You are innocent in this. My father also fought a demon beast with this. I'm not afraid. Just wait. I won't let you suffer. Okay. So there's... There you go. Um... Yeah, going through stories again, it's not really hard, because it takes maybe half an hour to do. Oh, I should probably use my potions, actually. Got them, right? And... There we go. Now, when you fought Ingwe with Velvet, 
he only you only needed to take out one head. Like he only had the one health bar is what I'm trying to say. Ah, it's trying to not get hit by that. That's alright, I've got tons of uh, elixir. Um you only had one health bar to deal with, so you only actually had to destroy one head. When you fight him in Armageddon, he has three health bars, you see here. And that, what that is, is each head has one health bar. So you have to actually kill all three heads. Which means you need to do enough damage to receive a whole health bar for each head three times. And you can get on top of him, although it's hard to stay up there. And he's got some new tricks, like the, uh, oops. Okay, now we're gonna pop, uh, an elixir. I don't think I've used any of them, so just use this one. Ah, I was really trying to jump over that. My potions have worn off, I'm noticing. Let's use a new painkiller. And it doesn't really make the fight any harder, per se. You can still just kind of pop potions, overload, and go to town on him. not really any harder compared to our next fight against King Gallon, who is actually really tough. But he is the first boss fight in Armageddon, so I guess they gotta warm you into something. Just wanna get away from him while he drops the fire down. I'm gonna get hit by it when I land, but... I thought that butterfly might give me enough to overload again, but I think the answer was no. Ah. Okay, now we need to heal. as long as you have a really high HP and you have some elixirs, any character can beat right here. Um, I imagine Mercedes has the easiest time just because she can stay on top of him basically the entire time. Uh, I'm gonna pop an unlimited power just to make sure. And by unlimited power I actually meant painkiller, but just on his own. Uh, I should pop another elixir so I don't die. Man, that froze me pretty hard. This should take out at least one head. There we go. butterfly because I want to maximize on my overload. It's a little silly that I'm still in the fight. I'm going to use the elixir just so I don't die here. I'm pretty sure I don't need it. I'm pretty sure I just need to hit him there. There we go. Not the same way. Not super hard, I and mean, you just kind of tank it.
Um, so what I'll do is I'll cut the video here and show you... Well, I'll leave this, but then after this cutscene finishes, I'm going to cut the video and show you... Oh, I'll let the cut He's cut not it. dead. He's quite stubborn. Ingwe, you're hurt. It's karma, Velvet. Don't you feel it? Even now, the cauldron is absorbing photons from the world. I couldn't destroy it. It's too late. The root of the land is dead, and Arion is sinking into the ocean. Do you remember the note? Mother's note? Perhaps destroying the cauldron is the wrong thing to do. She wrote the note for us. Perhaps she tried to tell us how to overcome the dangers. The cauldron guides the way with the final stone. If the core is reversed, the phosons stored inside will be released. That might save us all. <sighs> Ingwe. Don't concern yourself with me, Cornelius. You're near death, too. But thanks to you, I was able to return to my own body. <sighs> Ingwe. Don't worry about me. Mother waits for me on the other side. She's sure to punish her bad son. This is your cowardly brother's last request. Elvis, do your duty. Now go. So now what I'll do here is I'll cut to, um, yes, save my game. Is I'll cut to beating Ingwe with uh, Velvet, and I might try Mercedes. We'll see. Anyway, uh, so that'll be the end of the episode, and then I'll come back to here where I'm choosing character to fight the Lord Netherworld, which will be Oswald. So preemptively, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. It's you, isn't it, Ingwei? I had this premonition that you'd throw your life away. You're alive, princess. Who are you? Why is the Darkova quiet? I see you fail to recognize me. I am Beldor, Scully's compatriot. You're that sorcerer. Thanks to the curse he cast upon me, I can still act even after death. What did you do to Ingwe? He did that to himself. It's up the cauldron. He tried to stop Armageddon. Destiny has a sense of irony. For now, he is the very thing that will cause it! <gasps> now, beast! Devour your twin sister! Let tears of blood flow! Please... Just kill me. Kill me now. Ingwe... I understand. If I can't save you, I'll...
Oh, it's you, Velvet. I thought you were mother. Ingwe. What happened to it? To the cauldron? I can't think straight. I can't remember anything. I am so exhausted. Just let me lie here. Please, Velvet. Go to sleep, Ingwe. You won't suffer anymore. Let us go to our mother. Together. The three of us. Together. Just like before. Both of you have perished. The cipher is powerful. I underestimated it. There's still the book. I shall not give up. <laughs> what? Where is it? No. Did he drop it? Somewhere in this firestorm? You damned fool! Ugh! I shall persevere. I cannot give up. transformed himself into this, but he did not know we had a spell to rule beasts. He's a much better servant than Belial. Later, I shall inform him that he devoured the Fairy Queen. little the spell of Darkova has been broken you stupid fairy interfering in my affairs spit it out where is the ring oh. you control me no longer thing way You're hurt, aren't you? Don't talk. Shh. It's all right. Just wait. I'll go call the fairies. Uh, don't go. I want to tell you. I have so much to say. You know what? I defeated the ace here. I know. I heard. The Fairy Queen led her troops to victory. You did well. 
Mercedes. Don't laugh, okay? Inkwe, I... I really care for you. Truly care. Telling me. 